Hey guys, what's going on? Isabella here from Nomadic Journeys. I hope you're well. In this video, I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of living a nomadic life. I've been living on the road uh, as a nomad uh, since uh, 2017 and I'm still on the road and uh, I don't think uh, for a minute to uh, settle down. I love this uh, life uh, and but I recon there are pros and cons and in this video I want to talk to you about both uh, the positive aspect of this life or, or at least what is positive for me and the negative ones uh, because uh, we need to be uh, honest and objective. So I'm hoping that by the end of this video if you are thinking about switching to a nomadic life, you have a more clear idea of what it's going to be like and what is going to be working for you or not, because maybe something that for me is a negative for you is a positive. So let's, I have here my laptop and I'm going to uh, look at my notes because I've also written a um, um, very thorough article about this. So if you want to read the article after listening to this, watching this video, you can do so too. So let's talk about uh, the positive aspects of living a nomadic life first. So first of all, the most beautiful thing about uh, a nomadic life is that is traveling. So. If you live this kind of life, it's because uh, you have uh, a job that allows you to move around. Uh, whether you're working for yourself or uh, you're a freelancer or your company, the company that you work for, allow you to work uh, remote. So, and this gives you the freedom to move around. Uh, you, can, you can decide to stay one week in one place, one week in the other place, or a couple of months in one place uh, and another month or just go with the flow and uh, decide uh, whenever you wanna, how long you wanna stay in a place because maybe you love it uh, and then, or if you wanna move uh, quicker because you don't like it. And basically it's freedom, the freedom to travel. And this is a beautiful, a beautiful thing to have really. Second point uh, is, uh, um, the quality of life, having a better quality of life. Of course, it all depends on what you believe it's a better quality. Because maybe for you having a better quality of life means going in every day to the beach. And for me, it can be going hiking as soon as I can. So it depends, but because you have the freedom to move around, you can decide that uh, you love the mountain and so you wanna live to the mountain. You, I don't know, you love the Nordic places, so you just travel around the Nordic places, the Nordic countries. It's, it's all about uh, being able, having the, it, it, it all boils down to having the freedom to choose where you want to go and when. And this is, uh, for me, it's number one pros of a nomadic life. And I wouldn't change it for the world. So the fourth thing, sorry, um, the third thing is um, living and, and learning about different cultures. Because if you travel, you get uh, you, to mingle with people from other countries and learn their culture. And that's a huge advantage because it opens up your mind. You realize that uh, you're your, our small world that we are living in is nothing compared to what's outside of it. Uh, so we learn uh, to become more flexible and, um, you know, open-minded and uh, more tolerant about uh, diversity. And that's, that's a, an amazing gift, uh, you know? So this is the other thing that I want to highlight about uh, the cons of living, uh, uh, sorry, the pros of living a nomadic life. Uh, another thing that can be very poetic, but I really, I really relate to that, is that uh, you can let your journey become your inspiration because you just 
you never know what you will find in a new country. It might be, it might give you, inspire you to start uh, your own business uh, or discover things about you that you didn't know you had um, or uh, embracing change uh, and um, I don't know, discover that uh, what you're doing uh, is not uh, what you want. The, the job that you're doing maybe is not uh, aligned with your values anymore. So you, you want to change uh, and you can do it because you, you, you've got inspired by this new environment that you are living in. And it's uh, a beautiful thing. So this is another interesting thing. And as a consequence, it allows you to, and we are getting to the other point, it allows you to grow as a person, as a human being and as a citizen of the world. It may be a very like um, uh, cliche saying becoming a citizen of the world, but it's true because you learn to accept the what is different from you. Maybe something that in, if you live, especially if you live in a small town, it's, it's more difficult to grasp. Uh, I lived in a town with uh, 10,000 inhabitants and when I left to go to live abroad, uh, it changed my perspective uh, and it opened a, a world uh, that I didn't know it existed. So it existed. So imagine living full time in a different place, uh, uh, in a different culture, it's, it opens a world of possibilities. So all these for me are uh, the most amazing and the most important things that um, you need to consider as a positive um, about living a domatic life. But, oh, I was forgetting something before moving forward to the cons. There is another thing that it depends if you live in a place where the cost of living is high and therefore you get higher wages. But then you live in, in, in a country or you're traveling in countries where the cost of life is very low. It allows you also to save a lot of money and maybe buy a, a place or invest them and improve your wealth. So this is also another uh, interesting aspect. Uh, but let's move on to the cons of living a nomadic life, because um, there are a lot of negative aspects. One is that you are far away with your, from your family. If you are a person who loves to be in to see your family and friends and uh, hanging hang out with them and having a, a like a physical contact uh, eye to eye and uh, hang out together to be able to feel the love and, and to you know to, to be together with them the nomadic life is not for you because you're going to be away for a long time and you may be able to suffer that this is something that i don't really have because uh, I'm close to my family, I love them so much, but I don't need to be where they are to be able to show them I love them or to receive love. So I am okay with, be, with being far away, but we are all different, so you need to consider that. The other thing is that uh, if you move around a lot of time and uh, uh, like you, if you don't stay in a place for a long time, you will be suffering a lack of routine. For me, it was uh, something that uh, it was a very negative aspect because when I was living in Cancun, for example, and I had my job, uh, I was working uh, nine to five uh, or maybe eight to 10 <laughs> in an office, um, but I had my own routine uh, and sometimes I woke up early to go running uh, in, the, in the morning, jogging in the morning or uh, to go my yoga class uh, and I had uh, like uh, um, I was eating well because I had my eating schedule as well so I was healthier and fitter in a way. Having a nomadic life uh, I cannot go, I, I cannot subscribe to a gym because I keep moving around, uh, I'm staying uh, one month here, two months there, and it doesn't make sense for me. Be also because in my case, uh, traveling is part of my business. So the time that I'm not sitting on the computer, I use it to explore. 
I don't find a way to fit in a gym within all that. And it's wrong, probably, but just to give you an idea. But um, there are ways for you to establish a healthy routine, and I will talk about it in another video because I know how to do it, it's just that I don't do it. But for example, you can spend longer time, like for example, three months minimum in a place, and you're still a nomadic, but in those three months, you can set up a routine that is gonna allow you to have a healthy living, and that's gonna solve this problem. But let's say it's more difficult than if you stayed in, your, in, uh, in, the, in the same place for a longer time. Uh, for some people, and it happened to me as well, another negative aspect is uh, anxiety and uh, uh, restlessness because, uh, uh, it, well, it all depends on, um, um, again, if you have a secure job, actually secure, there's not, nothing is secure at this time, but let's say a stable job, that takes away part of the anxiety because you are relatively safe, let's say. But just by organizing your trip and going to go from one place to the other, organizing finding the hotel or oh, sorry the house because I, I assume you don't stay in hotels the house uh, a good rental place uh, with everything that you need in a house and then the flights uh, and how you are gonna move around you are you are going to move around there are a lot of aspects of settling in every time you move to a new place that can, could cause you... Inner peace, 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 And this is why I keep telling myself, I need to stay longer in a place. And there's no escape from that. It's the only way to, to um, avoid these uh, uh, negative aspects of the nomadic life. Then, um, loneliness can be a so negative aspect. Because... If you travel by yourself, uh, obviously, because otherwise it's, it's not a problem if you are in a couple, if you are a couple or, or friends traveling together. But it's not my case because, first of all, I don't have, I don't know anybody else who likes to live the life that I'm living. And uh, I love to be on my own. But I recall that sometimes you can feel some, some loneliness because you are alone all the time. And although I love it and I wouldn't want it any other way because I appreciate most aspects of living by myself, but I recall that sometimes uh, you feel lonely. And uh, unless you're an extrovert and you live in hostels, uh, you love the hostel life, you love to party, in this case, it's easier. But at 45, well, now I'm 51, but for me, it's, it's not a thing. I don't do hostels and uh, I don't like to party. So it's, it's difficult for me to, to find uh, uh, friends um, to hang out with. And also because the older you get, the more peculiar you are in choosing who you are hanging out with. So, you know, it's, there are a lot of aspects. So loneliness can be, um, a negative things that uh, can hit you and uh, and then you might face also burnout because I, it happened to me when I was traveling in uh, South America I was in Peru I was about one year in uh, into my journey and uh, I was moving around quite um, quite often and I got burnout for me the burnout uh, manifested with a uh, terrible headaches um, and the stomach aches uh, and it was awful. I had to stop and stay for a couple of months in Peru to recover. And then eventually I, I decided to go back to Mexico and uh, stay, you know, find a job and then go back to... But I was still a nomad. I didn't find an office job. I was, it was a, still an online job, but I slowed down my trips and uh, I, um, I decided to, you know, to take it slow. But yeah, I suffered from burnout uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's real, <laughs> it's real. The other negative aspect is uh, being able to balance uh, 
work and vacation. At the beginning, trust me, it's difficult because um, you know, you need to learn how to respect, uh, well, unless you work for a company and that gives you a working hour, for example, if you work as a customer service or, you know, if they give you a uh, working hours in this case is not an issue for you because uh, everybody somebody has the, is deciding for you but if you need to manage your time you need to learn how to balance uh, work uh, with uh, pleasure and i mean you're not on vacation you're traveling so you're sometimes you are you are uh, um, you feel like you have to go out and learn about the places, visit a museum, but then you realize that you have to work. And, and so you cannot go out when you want because you have deadlines to respect, especially if you work as a freelance, but also if you work for even more, if you work for yourself. So for me, this has become a very difficult aspect to, ma to manage because at the beginning, well, I'm still overworking uh, and because I have my own business because I want to use every minute to uh, develop my business and uh, working on it to, to improve it so but also for me travel is part of my business so I it's it's really difficult to find the balance between going out and explore taking pictures uh, take videos uh, and then come back uh, in the house for example now I'm in Porto for a month but I haven't seen much of Porto because I had to stay at the computer and uh, work uh, uh, with my own deadlines. So it's, uh, it's, it's kind of tricky, but it's something that you will eventually learn how to, how to handle it. And uh, the last but not least uh, is a phrase that I really like. We are borderless, but the world is not. So, and then here comes the anxiety and stress when you have to, when you want, when you want to go to a place and you need to think about a visa uh, uh, and learn how, where, to, where to get it, understanding the, you know, the technicalities of the visas, uh, the visa and um, the timing uh, and find a place to where to stay. There are a lot of uh, uh, complications, uh, so uh, that which cause which can cause uh, uh, some stress as well. So those are the things that you need to consider if you want to become a digital nomad. A nomad. It's not all rainbows and unicorns, although, as I said, and I will repeat it forever, at least for now, I, will, I wouldn't change this life for the world. I knew that, I knew that. Um, and it's always, uh, as I said, a trial and error to um, adjust to the nomadic life and adjust to the place where you are uh, traveling at the moment. So, and you will get uh, smarter and faster in learning. So uh, if it's something that uh, you think it's really for you and you, it's something that excites you, I would give it a try. I, um, I'm gonna link here um, my the video I did about how I became a digital nomad so it maybe inspire you to see how it went for me and uh, I don't know maybe it would be helpful okay that's it for me this is this was the pros and cons of becoming a digital nomad and I hope it was helpful that's very helpful and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much bye